Yes, you read that correctly. Today we're off to see my favourite bus stop. Now that might sound like the most boring video you have ever clicked on, but please bear with me, this isn't it. Now we're off on a bit of a mammoth adventure, all by public transport. Now if we throw into the mix a few tight connections as well, I just hope we make it. It's 270 miles to the north of here as the crow flies. We're also on a bit of a budget. So all in all, I think the video is going to be a bit more interesting than the title suggests. Let's hope so anyway. Let's get going. Our journey starts here at Stonehaven train station and it is 3 o'clock on Monday the 4th of July. Oh, happy Independence Day. And tonight I'm booked on the 7pm ferry, the overnight ferry from Aberdeen to Lerwick in Shetland. Now it's going to take 14 separate journeys to get to my bus stop destination and back. So let's get going with segment one, the short train ride from Stonehaven to Aberdeen. That short train journey was just the beginning. Stay tuned for two overnight ferries, four inter-island ferries, six buses, and a wee bit of a walk as well to my ultimate destination. This is one of these long chains of journeys that could easily fail at its weakest link. So wish me luck. The train station in Aberdeen, and come to think of it, the bus station as well, they're both located within Union Square, which is like the city's premier shopping mall. So you can pick up everything you need for the journey and then just head across the road to the ferry terminal. The next leg of the journey is the long one. I'm here on the North Link and we're going from Aberdeen up to Lerwick in Shetland. It's overnight, it's 12 hours, and I don't even have a bed, I've just got one of these pods. The North Link was such an experience, especially in a tight budget, so I've decided to give this one its very own video. Look out for it in the next week and see what it's really like to be on two overnight ferries for a total of 26 hours without a bed. Spoiler alert, I didn't get much sleep but it sure was an adventure. That's us just coming into port at Lerwick now and after 12 and a half hours at sea, we're bang on time. So that's so important for catching that first bus. Takes a bit of pressure off. Right, this is where the notes come out. I've got every bus time written down here. Let's see if they're on time as well. Okay, so our first bus is Lerwick to Toft, and it should leave the Shetland Hotel, which is just across the road here, at, oh, 7.58. It's only 7.43, loads of time. Now I know I've got plenty of time, but I'm just heading up to this bus stop and I'll see if there's any timetables in here because I wouldn't want to be at the wrong bus stop. First bus, bang on time. This is going well. All right, mate. Just going to the Yale Ferry. Good stuff, thank you. This first bus is scheduled to take just about an hour and I think it connects quite well with the ferry. I'm sure all the buses connect well with the ferries, but it's on time, we're on board, everything's fine. It is raining outside, but we can deal with that. We're going to be sitting on buses for most of the day anyway. Well, 
this is all going remarkably smoothly so far. I've probably just cursed it by saying that. Thanks, mate. So despite only one hour's sleep last night, which I'm going to moan about all day, it appears I can still read a bus timetable. And that bus has taken us from Lerwick up to Toft, and I'm now on the Yell Ferry. When we get to the island of Yell, we've got another bus, then another ferry to the Isle of Unst, which is the northernmost inhabited island in the UK. We're doing really well so far, but I'm not counting my chickens, there's a long way to go. decks absolutely jam-packed full and it took quite a bit of time to get everyone on board. So we're leaving a few minutes late but I'm sure the bus will wait for us at the other end. But that's a reminder if you're travelling by ferry in Shetland, the inter-island ferries with a vehicle, remember to book in advance. It's very popular and always very busy. I suppose I should give you some prices for the public transport up here. The bus from Lerwick up to Toft was I think it was £3.20 and I've just got my ferry ticket which was £6.20 return but the guy was saying that's not just for this ferry, it'll work on the next one as well so that's a real bargain Welcome to the island of Yell, there's a bus due in one minute so we should be okay Yes, I should just chuck that in there Ah, thank you mate Hey, nice roads here, eh? Not bad. Oh, thank you very much. No Cheers for that. Thank you. So the Yale bus was a wee bit posher than I expected, and I think we're waiting for the next ferry. I don't think this is our one yet. In fact, this is our ferry, so I've just made it. only. Ah, the passenger lounge is downstairs, okay. Alright, this is a nice little passenger lounge downstairs on the ferry. It's a shame that drive through Yell was stunning, but we were only there for about 20 minutes. We really need to give it the time it deserves, maybe come back and explore a bit more. Because every time I've been on Yell, it's just been driving up that road and catching the ferry and that's as much as I've seen, but it looks an absolutely beautiful island. Oh, that's the engines cutting back, I think we're arriving in Unst. Here we are, welcome to the top of the UK and the sun's even come out for us. Oh, is this our bus again? Another transit. What's it called? Uh, GoPro. Yeah. Welcome to Bolta Sound here in the island of Unst. I hope you can hear me okay from the wind. I'm getting a wee bit of protection from this building at the moment, so it should be okay. 
Now sorry I couldn't film much in our last little segment in the transit van to get here It was very busy and I couldn't really see out the windows to film The guy was saying they've got the Unst Festival here next week So the island's going to remain quite busy I think it's quite a big deal I'll need to look into that a bit more I should maybe have stayed a few days extra But I just jumped out the van a wee bit early And I'll walk the last few hundred metres, kilometres, miles I have no idea where I am But we're almost at my destination, I promise you I was speaking to a guy on the bus who got on with me at Lerwick and has done the same journey up through the islands with me and he's got off at Unst here he's going to jump in his car and go all the way back down to Lerwick and the reason you might ask, well it's because the buses here don't let you take your dogs on board so he's had to come all the way up, leave his dog in Lerwick and then go all the way back again I thought my journey was crazy today think of that poor guy At last up ahead I can see my destination, my favourite bus stop in the world. But would I normally travel this far just to see a bus stop? The honest answer probably not, but it's a great excuse to do that journey and I've really enjoyed it. It's been so smooth, every connection has worked perfectly. I'm so glad we got here guys. Here we are folks, they've gone for a Queen's Jubilee setup. I've seen it with more furniture before, but you know what, let's have a sit down, we deserve it. Sorry Corgi, you're gonna have to move. Thank you. Ah, there we go. That was one royal journey. Welcome to one's bus stop. And believe it or not, the clock's pretty accurate. <laughs> and as weird and wonderful as this place is, don't be thinking it's just a tourist gimmick. This is Bolta Sounds bus stop, and this is where tomorrow morning at 8am, I'll be here waiting for my bus back to the ferry. Look, they've got a website as well, and this is maybe the place to check what the setup is, because the last time I was here, it wasn't the Jubilee setup, it was a lot more homely, there was a lot more furniture, and I liked it more, but this is still cool. There's just nothing decent on TV these days. We've had a train, we've had an overnight ferry, we've had one hour's sleep, we've had two inter-island ferries, three buses, and a wee bit of a walk, and we finally made it to our destination. Now if I just keep walking up here, I'm sure there's a shop. As you can probably hear, my throat needs some water, and I'll get some supplies, we'll check into our little hotel for the night, and we'll just have a chilled rest of today on Unst, before we do it all again tomorrow morning. The things I do for you. This is probably the most northerly petrol pump and cafe anywhere in the UK. In fact, it's probably the most northerly pretty much anything, because you can't go much further. Please be open, please be open, please be open. The final checkout. There's a cracking wee store here where I can sit down, get a hot drink and I'll get some supplies for the hotel for tonight as well because I've got absolutely nothing. The problem is folks, and I never thought I'd say this, the public transport to get here is just too efficient. It's 12 o'clock midday, I've got my supplies, I've had my lunch, we've visited the bus stop, I can't even check into my hotel until 3 and there's just nothing here. I love it, but there's nothing here. And we've got until eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Hi boys. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a camera, it's not food. Hello. Hi.
Now what treats do we get from here? We've got shortbread, banana muffins, OT squares, vanilla tablet, millionaire shortbread, apricot and almond muffins. Ooh, I think it's gonna have to be the banana muffins. Good morning. Well, it's not a good morning, but you know what I mean. Now I can't work out the bus timetable this morning, but yesterday the guy did say, be here at 5 to 8, and that's what I've done. My problem this morning is, of course, that my bus isn't a bus, it's just a transit van. And the guy said it might be someone else that picks you up, so it might not even be the same van. And there's been quite a few passing this morning, so I'm having to keep a close eye. That's always the problem with a bus stop when your TV remote and your carpet gets wet. Ah, oh, this looks like a van. This could be me. This could be us, folks. Actually, looks a bit more like a bus than yesterday's. Now I'd originally planned to leave Balta Sound and Unst a bit later in the day and was confused when I was advised to get the early bus but then it all started to make sense instead of three buses I'd be getting only two with them driving straight onto the ferries had it been a nicer day I might have preferred to take my time but with the weather like this I was more than happy to take the express service Right, we leave this bus, and we go in a real bus. And the real bus would take us all the way from Gucci at the top of Yell back to Lerwick on the mainland. Bus travel turned out to be a real pleasure in Shetland, I don't know what I was nervous about. And I loved how the drivers knew most of the passengers by name. I'll leave you now to enjoy the short ride back to the big town, where we'll have a little bit more time than expected, so stay tuned for a wee look around before the ferry home. So welcome to the Viking bus station in sunny Lerick. That journey back down through the islands was incredibly fast again, but I'm kind of happy about that. It's not the kind of day for hop on, hop off, you know? Right, so we have got about five hours here before we need to go for the ferry. I don't know what we're going to do in the rain though. I'll still do my best to show you something of the town. We might as well, we're here. Lerwick's a popular stop for sailing boats and for cruise liners and you see some absolute beauties in this harbour. Oh, in fact, this is the very ship we saw in Aberdeen on Monday when we were leaving on the North Link.
Nah, this is just crazy. Let's go for breakfast. Ah, this will do. Oh, that's better. lovely couple I met on the bus yesterday. I just bumped into them in Lerwick and they said get yourself up to the town hall and have a look at the stained glass windows. So here we are. So this first one's the Earl of Morton. He owned Shetland. Oh wow look at this. This hall is fantastic. I'm so glad they told me about it. The hall, of course, has barely changed and I love this old dancing photo here and that fireplace. That's it, just over there. Absolutely awesome and I love the fact you can just come in and have a look around. Another rainy day idea for Lerwick. Oof. While I'm up this way, hands up if you recognise the filming location right in front of me. Answers on a postcard or in the comments below. We are planning to come back to Lerwick at some point and do a proper video on the Shetland TV series, but we can't come all this way and not look at Jimmy Perez's house. That's me back at the stop where my Shetland bus adventure started yesterday, but if you search the Shetland bus on YouTube, you'll get something quite different. Right, let's get home. If I thought the ferry to get here was long, well this one's going to be an hour and a half longer. And that's because we're going to be stopping in at Kirkwall in Orkney on the way home. Although I don't think we're going to see much, it's going to be late and the weather's still closing in, so we'll need to be very lucky. Now it's still about an hour and a half before we actually sail, but I'm getting on board early so I can have a good scout about, try and find a quiet, comfortable corner of the ship where I can base myself for the next 14 hours. As we set out for the long voyage south, just a reminder that this ferry journey will be part of the next video. Another interesting trip with plenty discomfort to look forward to. There we are, that's us back in Aberdeen. It was a long way to go for a bus stop, eh? And we're still not home yet. Let's get the final leg of this journey done and get it finished. All right, so we've got a train in about three minutes and I really want to be on it. Ah, talk about a last minute panic, eh? Uh, Stonehaven. Oh, a nice one, thank you. We made it.
So there we are, back where it all started. I'm too tired to function now, so I'm going to go to bed. But I'm sure I'll see you in another ridiculous adventure soon. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. I'm a traveling spirit, I've seen many shores From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya They treat me like a son anywhere I go And even though no one can tell, I still feel that I'm